हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट रेसिप्रोकल डिमांड थियरी विद ऑफर कर रेसिप्रोकल डिमांड थियरी इज गिवन बाय जे एस मिल एंड व्हाट इज रेसिप्रोकल डिमांड रेसिप्रोकल डिमांड स्टेट इक्वली बीरम ऑफ ट्रेड डिपेंड ऑन रिलेटिव स्ट्रेंथ एंड इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड ऑफ ईच नेशन फॉर अदर नेशन प्रोडक्ट रेसिप्रोकल डिमांड स्टेट दैट इक्वली बीरम ऑफ ट्रेड डिपेंड ऑन रिलेटिव strength and elasticity of demand of each nation for others nation product and strength and elasticity means how much requirement one nation have for other nation product means how much requirement one country has for other country product for example if a country demand have a inelastic if a country have inelastic demand for b country product means a country has more requirement of b country product and according to this theory this requirement will decide international trade equilibrium means according to this theory international trade equilibrium depend on this requirement or going to international trade equilibrium we will talk about domestic conditions of country we will talk about before trade conditions of country here we assume we have only two countries a and b they are producing only two goods x and y firstly we talk about country a before trade if country a want to produce 1 unit of x then it has to give up 0.63 unit of y on the other hand before trade if country b want to produce 1 unit of x it has to give up 0.80 unit of y in this example you can clearly see country a have a less loss in production of x okay because when country a is producing 1 unit of x it is giving up only 0.63 unit unit of y on the other hand country b is giving up 0.880 unit of y means country a have a less loss in production of x as compared to country b that's why country a decided to specialize in goods x and here we assume country b will specialize in goods y okay country a will produce only x good country a will specialize in x good on the other hand country b will specialize in y goods now international trade start but at what rate both country will exchange their goods with each other it will depend on two things firstly if country a export one unit of x in country b then in return it expect to receive more than 0.63 unit of y why because in their home country country a can easily get a 0.63 unit of y for one unit of x if he same he getting from international trade then why should it trade if he don't have any benefit from trade similar country b will think if it import one unit of x from country a then in return it expect to give less than 0.80 unit of y so we can say that at what rate both country will exchange their good will decide between 0.63 and 0.80 second things in which a goods exchange rate depend is elasticity of demand if country a have a inelastic demand for country b product if country a have a inelastic demand for country b product it means country a have a more requirement of country b product that's why if b is continue increasing their price but a demand is not falling because a have a inelastic demand for b country product that's why a is willing to pay more for b country product now we understand graphical representation of this theory with the help of offer curve what is offer curve offer curve basically shows various quantities of export that a country is going to offer for various quantities of import at various price offer curve basically shows various quantities of export that a country is going to offer for various quantities of import at various price here we assume we have only two countries a and b they are producing only two good x and y and a country specialize in x good and b country specialize in y good and in this diagram x axis we have x good and y axis we have y goods and this oa this oa is offer curve of country a and this ob is offer curve of country b this ot is uh, terms of trade line where both o 
ऑफर करव इंटरसेक्ट एट ई पॉइंट इज शोज इक्वलीबरियम टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड वेयर बोथ ऑफर करव इंटरसेक्ट इज कॉल्ड इक्वलीबरियम टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड पॉइंट ई इज इक्वलीबरियम टर्म्स ऑफ ट्रेड पॉइंट ओके एंड टू नो अबाउट गेन फ्रॉम ट्रेड वी नीड टू नो बिफोर ट्रेड कंडीशन ऑफ बोथ कंट्रीज फर्स्टली वी टॉक अबाउट कंट्री ए दिस ओ A1 वन इज डोमेस्टिक एक्सचेंज रेट लाइन ऑफ कंट्री ए दिस ओ ए वन इज डोमेस्टिक एक्सचेंज रेट लाइन ऑफ कंट्री ए ओके बिफोर ट्रेड इफ कंट्री ए वॉन्ट टू प्रोड्यूस एल एन एल एन अमाउंट ऑफ वाई देन इट हैज टू गिव अप ओ एन अमाउंट ऑफ एक्स बिफोर ट्रेड इफ कंट्री ए वॉन्ट टू प्रोड्यूस एल एन अमाउंट ऑफ वाई देन इट हैज टू गिव ओ एन अमाउंट ऑफ एक्स बट आफ्टर ट्रेड कंट्री ए इज एक्सपोर्टिंग ओ एन अमाउंट ऑफ एक्स बट इन रिटर्न इट इज रिसीविंग ई एन अमाउंट ऑफ वाई सो ई एल इज गेन ऑफ कंट्री ए आफ्टर ट्रेड ई एल इज गेन ऑफ कंट्री ए नाउ वी टॉक अबाउट कंट्री बी This O B one is domestic exchange rate line of country B. Uh, before trade, if a country want to produce O an amount of X, then it has to give up M an amount of Y. But after trade, country B is receiving O an amount of X, but in return it has to give only uh, A an amount of Y. Means A M E amount is gain of country B. gain of country b after trade e l is gain of country a after trade and m l this amount is gain of country b after trade now with the help of this diagram we will see international trade equilibrium based on intensity of demand now we see international trade equilibrium based on elasticity of demand okay on x axis we have x good and y axis we have y good country a specialized in x and country b specialized in y this oa is offer curve of country a this ob is offer curve of country b this ot is terms of trade line when both offer curve of intersect is called equilibrium terms of trade means at e point we have equilibrium terms of trade so e is initially equilibrium point but now country a demand become very inelastic for country b product now country a demand become very inelastic for country b product means country a have more requirement of country b product why that's why because of inelastic demand country a is willing to give more unit of x for very few unit of y because of inelastic demand now country a is willing to give more unit of x for very few unit of y this o a1 is new offer curve of country a in which you can see country is giving up x x1 unit of x but in return it is receiving very few unit of y y y1 you can see x x1 is more than y y1 because of inelastic demand country is willing to give country is giving more unit of x but in return it is receiving very few unit of y so even is new equilibrium point where a demand become very inelastic for b country product and this is all about reciprocal demand theory and offer curve i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care